And the IGAD Climate Prediction and Application Center has affirmed its commitment towards improving food and nutrition security in the region. IGAD and its development partners are seeking to accelerate food systems transformation to address critical agricultural and food security challenges in the East African region. Stakeholders say that key emphasis will be placed on strengthening alignment with regional commitments and accelerating both national and regional implementation of food systems pathways. This coming at a time when 21% of the 300 million people across IGAD member states are food insecure. As you all know, uh, the, the region has been having quite a lot of uh, uh, crisis. We've had uh, climate crisis, we've had uh, conflicts here and there in parts of, 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 of the region. Uh, we've also had uh, a lot of uh, flooding because of uh, you know, excessive rains that we've experienced. And we want to work with our member states, uh, development partners, to ensure that we address those crises. It is a cross-border issue. Um, we have a scenario where um, it is no longer confining aspects to do with availability and accessibility of food just to a specific country. And um, we have to look at how um, all the countries around we are going to, to support each other. Very often when, when we are facing a crisis, there is an investment in life saving that is quite significant. Unfortunately, we don't necessarily see the same level of investment at scale for resilience investment. And I think that the scale matters a lot. If we want to be transformative, we have no option but going faster and at scale. And that's what is missing a little bit in the region still when we are looking to climate adaptation in particular.